this lady in a black robe came forward with this little baby. I had my incredibly sharp knife. I would strap the animal into the middle of the pentagram. There were things here that weren't quite as they should be. And she just laid it on the altar. And then I just cut its head off like that, suddenly. Then the high priest just cut the baby's throat off. They taught me how to kill someone. All the power that was raised through this ritual was uh, used for killing off Christians. Where is the dividing line between something which is a bit of a giggle into full-blown Satanism? Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Something about sacrifice, if you do it once, you want to do it all the time. All religions are coming around to Satanism. We're in the very throes of a new satanic age. The evidence is all around us. All we have to do is look at it. Christians are the Satanist worst enemy. They are out to torment you. They are out to blackmail you. They, they will even kill you. They even try to kill me um, when I came out of um, black witchcraft. If you're in a church where the Spirit of God is really moving and where the Word of God is really being preached and where prayer is really going up to heaven for the salvation of souls, then they're going to regard you as their mortal enemies and they're going to be out there trying everything they can to, to destroy, to kill, and to maim because that is, of course, the nature of Satan and that is also the nature of his followers. They will try and infiltrate your church they will try and set up whispering campaigns against the pastor and the elders. They may even try to seduce the pastor. For two years I was involved in the Baptist church. I was constantly complaining about the pastor's sermons being too long, being too dry, sowing discord between the people, gossiping about others. As each member uh, is initiated into the coven, they are commissioned to do a job and one individual's job may be to uh, desecrate a church. They'll des destroy or desecrate churches where they'll spray paint Satan right on the altar just to put fear into that Christian church. Some Satanists who were handpicked, um, the most powerful ones, were sent into churches to disrupt the meeting. And we stopped people from going forward when they um, ask for people to go forward and accept Christ as their savior. I personally, in fact, was trained to learn all of the, 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 the Christian jargon, you know, to say hallelujah and praise the Lord and do all the right things. And yet I, I had no more idea of Jesus being my savior than, than a man on the moon. If you can tear down the prayer foundation of a church, then you've destroyed that church. And that's what every witch or Satanist plans to do when they go into a church is to tear down that prayer foundation, and the rest of the church goes quickly after that. The fear has gone out of the general public. The craft is more and more acceptable. Paganism has infiltrated the mainstream thought pattern of most Americans today. There is a pagan revival. There are more people practicing true paganism than there are practicing true Christianity. Many people were seeking something apart from Christianity. The thing that attracts young people is the power, and it's immediate power. Different. No, you are. Say it. Vampire. Whenever you drink blood, you gain incredible power. We choose only to let the general public see what we want them to see. Magic is about getting what you want. Magicians are people who get what they want. Slowly but surely, the beauty of the craft is becoming widespread. I'm not scared of you. You really shouldn't have said that. Black is not evil in any way. Psychic vampirism and physical vampirism were very viable ways of achieving power in black magic. But why hide it in this day and age? I've hidden in the shadows for centuries. It's time to share myself with the world. I'm very proud to be a witch. We live in a kind of post-Christian era. People are moving towards a kind of neo-paganism. The neo-pagan revival has uh, proceeded so rapidly. They have had the uh, cooperation of the media in, in getting their message spread. I want to do bad things with you. A lot of what we do has been taken over by the church. Christians really have married into occult practices. 
they no longer know the difference because they've become desensitized to the things of evil. Are you afraid? No.